Hey everybody. I am a few minutes early because I just want to make sure everything's working and my iPad is, I'm getting comments ready to go so that I can see everybody and chat with everybody. So once you get here, just pop on and say hello so that I know that you're here. This is uh, not now. Okay, I'm not seeing my live here. Oh, I see that there are six people. Looks like about six people on here. So let me just find my live. Yay. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Hello. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today and share with you guys lots of fun things with the new catalog. Yay, Linda, I'm so glad you got your catalog. Yay. Having that catalog in your hands is always the best. Let's just get a view of that catalog right here as we get started. Okay, so let me just yell at my husband that my this has started so he knows he has to deal with the kids. Okay, babe, my live is starting, so I just need you to be able to deal with everything, okay? Otherwise, if he doesn't know, he'll be like, I didn't know. I didn't know what was happening. How many times has that happened to you guys? Hey, Jenny. Hey, Suzanne. Susan, sorry, Suzanne, Susan, Kathy, hello, you guys. Okay, I'm going to get started in just a second. I'm going to chit chat with you guys for a minute before we get started. This is my catalog party. Hey, Julie, that I'm so excited about. This is the first time I've done this like online. I did an in-person catalog launch party a couple years ago when Wendy and I were doing our card class together. We did for the month that we did our card class that the catalog went live, we did a big launch party and it was so much fun. We made huge paper flowers as decorations and we used the end colors and it was really exciting. And so I thought, why not do it online? Um, here on my Facebook page, I usually go live with you guys earlier in the morning on Mondays, but today we're going live now. And so I'm excited about that. I have some stuff that I want to share with you guys. First of all, you should have got your catalog. Um, hopefully you got your catalog. Linda had some issues and she just got hers. Hey, Kathy. But if you got a catalog from me, you also should have had in it a make and take packet that will look something like this it'll be this and this and then this piece and then here's where we're going to do our very first giveaway if you got a catalog and your make and take packet included five circles instead of four you want a prize so if you got the jade circle you want a prize and you are going to have to snap a picture of that and show me because I did not keep track of where the catalogs went. It's a total surprise to me. There should be two people that got four or five circles instead of four when you got your catalog and the fifth circle is the Jade circle. So we're going to use these items to put together a card tonight, but if you got that, fifth circle you won a prize very exciting right so um the prize for the for this is going to be a pack of the plain with patterns designer paper okay so if you got that you'll just want to check your make and take packet and see um, if you got that and then we're going to do that project in just a minute today tonight we are celebrating the annual catalog and I it's a little bit crazy this year because 
next month we will see the autumn, the fall catalog. I'm going to call the catalogs fall, spring, and then annual <laughs> because our catalogs are not going to be called holiday catalogs or occasions catalogs. So there's some things that are shifting and changing around. And so you will hear me refer to them as the fall catalog, which will include Christmas stuff and holiday stuff. And then the spring catalog, which includes some summer items as well. And then we have our annual catalog. And um, I'm really enjoying this catalog. You can see that mine, one of my pages, yeah, see, my page is totally coming out. <laughs> I've been flipping through this so much. This is probably my favorite page of all with all the paper flowers. Um, I think they're all so beautiful. And then always with the brand new catalog, the annual. Um, I want to show you guys the new end colors. So if you're not familiar, let's just take a look at the end colors. That's what our make and take is going to be um using are the new end colors um but let's just kick off this party by starting with the brand new end colors this is always the very first thing that i get because i love new colors and i always feel like these go so well with our color lineup so this year we have bumblebee just jade which is very, very close to my favorite color, Bermuda Bay. I love it. Then we have Misty Moonlight. We have Magenta Madness and then Cinnamon Cider. This, I feel like, is probably the color that, like, how do I say? It's the most different from our color lineup. Like, we have yellows. We have these green blues, we have dark blues, we have pinks, but we don't have any color that is quite like cinnamon cider. And I love that we've added this to our um, color lineup. When I got my cinnamon cider ink pad, the labels were on backwards. So I went to try to open it. This label was on this way and I was like trying to open it. And I was like, I don't understand. So I just peeled it off and switched it. Um, but it was on backwards. That's never happened to me before. And then um, one of the things that I just learned, I think I shared with you guys last week, that there, the sticker on the back where you put the sticker label on your ink pad, there is an extra one that goes right inside of your ink pad. And I don't know if I just didn't know it or if I didn't realize it because I'm finding some of my ink pads have this in there and then some of them don't. So clearly I knew about it, but maybe I just forgot. Um, but I love that. I have a friend who just recently purchased a entire line of stamp pads um, from a different company and they didn't come with labels. Like she had to make her own labels to put on the sides. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, I'm so thankful that Stampin' Up! provides this label with the color, makes it so nice. So these are our new in colors and I would love to know you guys which one is your favorite out of all of these. Definitely my favorite is probably the jade, just it's the closest to like my favorite kind of color, like the teal, the green blue kind of color. So I wanna know what your favorite color is um, from our new color lineup. I'm gonna leave these out as you guys pick. Tonight I'm drinking a sparkling ice water and pink grapefruit, it's my favorite flavor. Oh, wow. Lots of different cinnamon cider. Lots of people are saying cinnamon cider or bumblebee. What I think is that a lot of these go really well together. Like the color combos for these are really great. Like sometimes the colors don't go great together. You know, it's like they're, they're good colors, but like they don't pair well together. And I feel like all of these like pair really well together. We have several uh, new products with our in colors. We have some um, envelope um, and card bases that you can get. We have the markers. There is the enamel dots. We have ribbon. 
So lots of fun things that go with the end colors. Ooh, lots for cinnamon cider. That, I'm kind of shocked. I mean, it's beautiful, but I didn't think many people would like this. So that's exciting. I do think it is the most different, right, than what we have, like our normal lineup. Okay, so hopefully everybody's gotten their catalog. Um, I am going to really quick just ask if anybody has any questions about the brand new catalog. I know I've already done my catalog walkthrough and you guys have already seen that. So I don't want to take much time to do that because I have a whole other video. What I will say is today I am releasing my labels for this catalog. So this is something that I've done the last three catalogs that we have had. These are the ones that I've used. So you can see that I've used them, you know, for different things. Um, I do labels for the bundles. So you can see like I've used mine for that. All of the paper is listed. One thing that I did not put on here, which I totally should go back and do because I have a little bit of room, is to put the blends on here. But all the paper is on here. Um, and even the, like the bundles that are not bundles, any, like just the die sets. Um, so even though if it's not a bundle, like this one was a bundle last year. So you might not need this one, but you'll need all the paper. And, um, so I have that for you guys. I will load that. I will add that to, um, the Facebook group for you guys to get. And then I just use the, um, Avery labels, the five, six, five, one, six, seven, or no, I'm sorry, eight, one, six, seven. And then you can just print this out and then you'll have labels for all of the new product. So I will do that today. It will also go out in the email that will go out with the with this video. So I hope that you guys use these. I've already used them for all of my paper and um, got all of that set up. It's just a way that I stay organized. So there is that that goes with your catalog. I did not do tabs on my catalog this year. I don't think I'm going to. This year I'm gonna see how it works to not do tabs and see, I feel like I get to know the catalog pretty well and then I don't necessarily need the tabs. Hey Elizabeth, hey Missy. So that is, I don't see any questions coming in about the um, new catalog, just still lots of comments on the colors that people are loving. So um, that's good. This, I think it's a good, I, I felt really good about this catalog. You know, some catalogs you don't, some catalogs, you know, you like a few things, but I've placed several orders for items in this catalog. So that's always a good sign, right? And then um, our paper party for all of the new paper. Um, I just got all of my paper today and I actually went up to Wendy's today and I cut all of it. She has a really big paper cutter. So I went up and I cut all my paper up there and we finalized everything for our party. We're adding some things, which I'm really excited about and not changing anything up really. We're just adding some things that we feel are going to be really exciting. So I'm excited about that. Now all the work comes that we have to package it all up, which is always work. Um, I'm also going to, uh, well, I was going to sneak peek the cards that we're going to be making, but I think we're doing something different for that. So I think I'll hold on to them. But I designed five of the cards and I really love the way they came out. When I was up cutting paper, she was using this paper, the plain with pets paper. That's the card she was making. And oh my word, it was adorable. Hey, Sharon. Okay, so a few things. Let's dive in. So I haven't seen anybody comment about their make and take. So one more time, if you got a catalog from me, like I sent you a catalog, there is a make and take inside that catalog. And these are the items that would be in there. Okay, so a, this is our card base, a layer, and then we're going to make a card tonight. If you have five circles, you want a prize. So our make and take is only going to feature four circles, and these are the end colors. 
But if you got five circles and one of your circles is the jade color, you won a prize. So you need to comment and then that you did. And then you've got to take a photo, snap a photo, and you've got to send it to me somehow through email, something. So make sure to check that make and take packet. If you're catching the replay because you're not here live, it's totally okay. You don't have to be live to claim your prize. Um, but you just need to be able to show me that you got that extra circle. So we're going to do this next. So let's do our giveaway um, because I've got to chat with you guys about our main giveaway um, really quickly. And then we'll do our make and take and then we'll do another giveaway. Okay. So I have, this is the giveaway that we're going to do tonight. Anybody who placed an order with me is entered to win the giveaways. Now, originally I had two giveaways that I was planning on giving away tonight. There's this one, which is the jars of flower bundle. So it's the the punch and the stamp set. It's a brand new stamp set. It's a photopolymer set. And then it's also is going to include these little cups. And these coordinate with this punch and then you can do really fun things with them. These are on back order right now. So you can't order them right now because so many people bought them. They're on back order. So it's an extra special little gift that you'll get that you can't even order right now. This was the first bundle. The second bundle that I was planning on giving away. Let me show you what it was. If I can find it quickly. Wouldn't you know that it's going to take me a minute. Actually, I think it's right here. I think it's coming up. The second bundle I was planning on giving away was this stamp set with the punch, this bundle, and then the designer paper that coordinates with this. So here's the deal. I only had five people that ordered from me. All their names are in here. And so I'm only going to give away one bundle because... The truth of the matter is I can't afford to give away both because I did not have enough people order from me. So I, I'm struggling a little bit, you guys, with um, people are not really seeming to order from me and I'm giving a lot of product away. And it's starting to, it's coming right out of my pocket and costing me a lot. So what I decided to do tonight is to just give away the one bundle and then I will save the other bundle and anybody who places an order between now and the end of the month, I will do another giveaway at the end of the month with those orders that come in so that I can cover the cost of the giveaways. So I just, I don't know what else to do. I just, I'm really lost as to why people aren't ordering from me and I'm struggling with the amount of product that I'm constantly giving away and not being able to have people order for me. It's a little bit of a struggle when I see, or I know like we all see, right, other demonstrators giving away so much and they give away so much because so many people order from them and they can. And that's the place that I desire to be as well. But I just, <laughs> it's just not happening, you guys. And, um, it's okay. Like, it's totally fine. This is what I do and it ebbs and it flows and I love doing this and sharing, but I've got to pull back and not give away so much product that's costing me basically so much money. So we're going to give this away. I'm going to draw a name. All five people that ordered from me are in here and I didn't have a... Um, minimum. Like I didn't have, like you didn't have to order $50. You could have ordered $10 and got entered to win. But then that was a little bit of an issue as well. The orders weren't as high as sometimes they normally are. And so um, I don't know, you guys, I just, I want to be transparent and I want to be honest. And I don't want to say that I don't want to give things away or that I don't want to provide giveaways. But at the same time, I just, I have to be able to afford them. 
So let's draw a name and then I will ship this out tomorrow. So you'll get this tomorrow. Uh, you won't get it tomorrow, but I'll ship it out tomorrow. So I just have all five people in here. I've written down a name. There is five, right? Yeah, five. And then I will see who wins it. Okay, you ready? And the winner is Barbara. She's actually local to me. <laughs> Barbara, I don't think she's on here. She doesn't usually watch. Um, but Barbara won this bundle. So I'll get that off to her tomorrow and send her a little email letting her know that she won that. So let's dive in and do our make and take. And it's really simple. The stamp set that I chose to use is an older one because I wanted to make sure that you guys maybe would already have this one so that you could do the make and take or it'll be really easy to just switch out a sentiment because that's what we're using from here. I'm using thank, thank you so very much. And I actually could, you could use the butterflies on the card that we're gonna make. I didn't wanna choose any new product because I was nervous that if I had new product, then you guys wouldn't have a chance to have already purchased whatever I used. So Butterfly um, Gala, Gala has been around for a little while. I love the Hello Beautiful. Um, actually, that's what I'm using, the Hello Beautiful. So that's what stamp set. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with, hey, Daisy, uh, the card base which is just Whisper White cardstock. It's cut at five and a half, and then we're gonna fold it at four and a quarter, like so. This has something like weird on it, like something got spilled or something on it. Like so. And then there's all five of the colors are featured from the new in color, just jade, Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, and then Misty Moonlight. Um, but you only have four circles. And this is from the designer paper, The Basics. And so you have a couple different designs. Um, I think everybody's kind of will be a little bit different depending on what I punched out. Um, and you can see there's some wood grain, there's some polka dots. I'm gonna use, for mine, I'm gonna use all four different designs. So I'm gonna use the polka dots, the wood grain, this kind of like, it almost looks like kind of fabric and then the words. So what we'll do next is we'll just take the Just Jade. Now you could totally emboss this. Um, you could do it with any of the embossing folders that we have. Um, it would be great. I'm not gonna do that just because I don't wanna get up and leave the camera. Um, and now my big shot is a little bit farther away from me, but you totally could. So I'm also going to use the brand new stamp and seal adhesive tonight. I've been working my way through it and using it and I'm really liking it so far. I haven't had a lot of problems on it. I did a video where I walked through it and tested it and I did run into a little bit of a problem when I tested it, but it fixed itself. So I was excited about that and I'm liking it so far. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger to get used to. Kathy said that she's so glad the Butterfly Gala carried over. It is such a beautiful set. I really do love it. Um, I have all the, like, all the butterfly sets because they're just so fun to have. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our circles. And I like to do this. Make sure I'm on camera here. I like to do it up a little bit towards the top, but I like to overlap them. You don't have to overlap them as much as I'm gonna overlap them, if you don't want. This really is pretty much your preference. You could make them all together, or you could make them out a little bit. And so what I like to do is just flip them over. I guess it doesn't really matter, honestly. Hmm. Got a little stringy. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna put adhesive on them all at the same time. I'm 
don't know what's going on. Okay, so I have adhesive. I'm just gonna pick them all up at the same time. And then what I'm gonna do is when I lay these down, I'm not gonna press. So I want to lay these down. My kids are yelling, they're out playing in the pool and they're really yelling and screaming at each other. So I'm just gonna, now I'm gonna press it all down. So see how they kind of overlap? I think this one's a little off. Yeah, a little bit. And I don't think that these, I don't think these come back up. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I can get it up. Oh yeah. I feel like it's like the yellow one. I don't know why I'm being so picky and precise. It's really not. You just want it on your card. Yeah, I feel like that's better. And then you can really press that down now. Okay, so then let's do our stamping. And I think that I will stamp. I guess probably would be good to stamp in just jade since the background is just jade. And this will fit perfectly right here. This is a Stitched So Sweetly uh, die. So it's from the Stitched So Sweetly. And I, that's why I said I feel like you, we could totally use butterflies on this as well. And maybe we will. Like maybe I'll step it up a little bit from what I was planning on doing. So hello, beautiful. That's why I said you could do any sentiment that you have. You don't have to use this sentiment. Oops, look at that. I got ink right on there. Okay, that's okay. I'll try to fix it in just a second. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. And then just peel these off. I'm going to try to fix that ink I got on there. And then this is going to go right in the middle. Oh, you know what? Actually, you know what I'll do? I have some of that designer paper right here. So let's grab our butterfly punch. This is what we'll do. I don't think uh, if I, if this can go in here, if I can get this circle in here, I could probably, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay. I don't know if the big one will work, but I could do a little one right here. I don't know if that looks good. I feel like it would look fine over here, but I don't think that I'm gonna be able to cover that up. So then let's grab a glue dot. Thanks, Kathy. This is a really simple card. You could totally reproduce this with any of our, any colors, like any of our designer paper, any of our colors. And then let's add to the middle there. Okay. 
I feel like the yellow will go pretty in there. Like so. Oh, and then let me try to get rid of that little ink spot. It's pretty bad. I don't know that I can really get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, I can lighten it a little bit, but it's really on there. And then another little trick is to just take a white gel pen And at least that's a little bit better. It's not as obvious. But we can definitely do that butterfly on there. And I don't know, I feel like I feel like like some ribbon or something on here. I don't know if this was embossed, it might look a little bit better or if it was um yeah, I feel like the that one's too big, but maybe maybe some another like two more little ones. Let's do like a different design. Yeah, don't you think like three of them on there? I don't know, maybe it's too much. It might be, where's my glue dots? I didn't think I put them away, where did they go? Okay, oh, here they are. I feel like, you know, I always add too much. I always go too far. <laughs> In more ways than one. My husband always says I'm dramatic and I and I'm like, I'm not dramatic. It just like it's where I, it's like what I think. It's like what happens. It's how I really feel. <laughs> Let's add some more enamel dots. So for the blue, let's do like jade. Well, jade, jade probably goes with the brown really well. What goes good, I guess yellow would go really good with the, uh, but I did yellow there. Mm, maybe pink. I wanted to do like different colors on the butterflies. That's not too bad, right? Yeah, just turn them. Yeah, I think that looks good. Three looks better. I think they're, you're right, Kathy. Three totally looks better. So, hello, beautiful. Right there. So, let me show you the one that's pretty plain. Like, you could do it plain or... And see, the colors are different, too. Like, the, where they're at makes a difference. Huh? And the stitching looks good. I really love that. Okay, so next we have one more giveaway before I wrap it up tonight. I'm not going to be on here very long. I know it's, depending on where you're at, it's, um, this can be a hard time of the day. So let's do one more giveaway for everybody that's here. I think, let's, let me think of something that I can... That we can do like a guessing, like a kind of guess the number kind of game. Okay. You guys will get a kick out of this. So you know that I love my Wink Estella pen. You guys know I use it all the time. So I want everybody to take a guess at how many brand new Wink Estella pens. I have in my drawer here and I'm going to show you guys. So how many brand new Wink Estella pens do I have? And I have a little giveaway to send out to somebody who guesses the closest. Hey, Diana. Okay, Kathy said seven. Let me count them. Okay, I know how many. So if I see the person, if I see somebody say it, then I'll 
do it, but we'll wait. Okay, so I have Bobby said 10 first. Missy, pick a different number. Because Bobby said 10 first. Debbie said 12. Linda said 5. Susan said 8. Did somebody else pick 8? No, nope, not yet. 7. Okay, so Kathy Sanford, pick a different number. Because Kathy Brown already picked seven. Okay, so I'll wait for Kathy to pick a different number. And it'll be the person who is closest who doesn't go over. That's who, that's what it'll be. Missy said, no, I did. No, I did, but it's okay. Well, on my screen, I'm sorry. So on my screen, Bobby's number goes is first so it's like bobby 10 and then missy 10 so that's how it looks on my screen yeah missy thanks sorry i'm just going by what's on my screen okay so i'm just waiting for kathy to pick a different number so missy said 13 okay kathy said four okay so i'm gonna i think that's everybody should I wait one more second for anybody else to comment? I'm going to wait just a second just to see if there's any other comments that come in. So it'll be the person. Oh, somebody already said it. Okay, that's okay. So somebody already said it. Okay, so Diane, you got it. Nine. But let's count them to make sure in case I counted wrong. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. And I have four that are open. <laughs> Clearly, I, and I think this one's brand new because it has, um, it's not in the package though, so I won't count it. But this one's brand new. It has the little black ring in it. And then I have three that are um, open. And then I still have my gold one from when Stampin' Up! used to offer the gold ones. I like my Wink Estellas, and I do not like being caught without having a Wink Estella. Seems like it always happens. So, Diane, you won. Diane Fury, Fury, is that your last? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. So, I will send one out. Oh, let me see. What are you going to win? Should you win a Wink Estella? Okay, you're going to win a Wink Estella. And a set of dimensionals. <laughs> I'll send that out to you. And then whoever has the jade circle in your make and take. I do too, Debbie. I always just add that envelopes, whisper white cardstock, and... Wink Estella's go on every single order. Like, I just can't live without them. So anybody who had the jade circle for your make and take, you are winning this. <coughs> Shoot, sorry, guys. I had to sneeze. Uh, Barbara won the bundle. The Whale of a Time bundle. The uh, Let's see, what is it called on here? Well done. This bundle I will save until the end of the month and anybody who orders with me between now and the end of the month, I'll do a giveaway for this. So, thank you so much, Kathy. So that, I think that's it tonight, guys. I don't want to keep you much longer. I am going to uh, go get dinner started for my family and clean up this mess. And I'm back all this week, you guys. I am... Um, my blog post did not go up today. It's not up yet, but it will go up. Um, and then I have lots of projects that are happening. And then if you are part of Blessed to Craft, um, all of the product for Blessed to Craft just came in today. So I'm going to be packaging that up and sending it off. And then our paper party, all the paper got here. So we are packaging paper and cutting kits and that is going to go out on time. So I am so excited that it seems like ordering from Stampin' Up! is doing better. 
and they're back. I think they're back to having the regular amount of employees. So packages are going out faster, which is fantastic. I think we're on time for everything. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the catalog launch party. If you're catching the replay, you can just type replay um, here in the description or on YouTube if you're catching it there. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll be back later this week to share with you guys some more. I hope you have a fabulous day.